A former employee at a Franklin furniture store that shut its doors this month is talking to 10 News. He claims that he hasn't been paid for a month's work and he saw firsthand how the business struggled. As we've reported, churches across the country and even here at home have lost thousands of dollars after the church furniture store in Rocky Mount unexpectedly closed last week. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas has been investigating this case. She joins us now live. Rachel, what have you learned? John, and in addition to multiple churches that have continued to reach out to us since our original story aired Wednesday, I've also been contacted by former employees. When this business closed, they tell me at least 15 people lost their jobs. I spoke to a gentleman on the phone today who says he and others are missing their last month's pay. When the church furniture store closed January 10th, not only did Franklin County lose a 28 year old business, churches across the country lost thousands of dollars and workers here lost their job. Well, it was the end of a work week and they told us we need to stay out to full meeting. And that's when he broke it to us, told us we were shut down. A former employee so agreed employee to speak to us check. anonymously. 10 News verified his employment after he provided us a previous pay stub. He tells us it was the last he got. He says he and other employees weren't paid for their last month's work. It wasn't good. I mean, we worked and tried to come in on the holidays and everything. Day before and after Christmas, trying to keep the company up. And that's what we get for. He says the closure came as a complete surprise. We knew it was slow, but we didn't know how bad it was. Churches like Penn Forest Worship Center in Roanoke who reached out to us say they waited on these chairs for months. I have contacted them every week to every other week. To date, after paying nearly $5,100, they only have one. This former employee says they were somewhat aware customers were having issues. Well, the manager would come and tell us, you know, it'd be something we'd have to get done real quick because it was so late and all the paperwork for the jobs we do would have an expected date and it'd be way months behind. The biggest problem, we didn't have materials to build it. That's why it was so behind. Based on previous positive customer reviews on Google and Facebook, as well as an A plus Better Business Bureau rating, the issues only appeared within the last year. Owner Sam Rakes and his attorney have yet to return multiple calls from 10 News, but two other former employees have come to his defense on our Facebook page and to the churches still owed thousands. I'm sorry for your experiences, but they have done the best with the hand they were dealt, one said. Another commented in part that the owners went without paychecks many times to make sure their employees were paid. If that's not integrity, then I don't know what is. But that is little comfort to those still waiting to get a month's pay. It's frustrating. We busted our butt trying to help keep the company up. And that's the way it ended. A new detail tonight. We've learned there has now been a second complaint about the church furniture store filed with the Virginia Attorney General's office. We'll keep you updated with the latest. Live in the studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.